Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for spending some time with me. I'm very grateful. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons before we get into it. But in our last episode, we continued to expand our base. We repurposed some area. We added some more holding cells. We added more tables for our minions to eat at. We expanded our control room and uh, added all the latest technology. So we've got the dot matrix printers in here. We've got the real computers and the data processing uh, and everything you would need. In this episode, we're actually going to expand our training area. And we completed a mission, actually, at the end of the last episode. And so we're going to jump into that objective right now. And that was to recruit a henchman from the world stage. And we decided that we were going to actually recruit our own computer. We just needed a body to put it in. <laughs> okay, Iris. So this is our personal assistant who now has a body. Uh, Iris, run a systems check. Processing. My consciousness is in complete control of this physical unit. Core layer functions are unaffected. Excellent. We can have the place burned down just because you felt like a walk. Can we? That would be inadvisable. <laughs> hmm. Cold intelligence with a tough outer casting. It's like looking in a mirror almost. Okay. I can barely hear myself think. All your incessant babbling, constant construction, and the gunshots. Yes, the gunshots are <laughs> particularly disruptive. I need a place to think, an inner sanctum. Somewhere I can gather the greatest criminal minds. That's cool. So we get to actually build an inner sanctum. <laughs> okay, so we'll collect that money. We've got our main objective now. Every genius needs an inner sanctum. This will be a safe haven from the rabble. It will also be expensive. So we need an impressive desk to put in our safe haven as well. That is funny. Okay, well, let's just see about building an inner sanctum then. Um, we will jump into the world stage here and make sure we are taking advantage of all the schemes that we can. I think I'm going to use some of our intelligence to reduce the heat in that region and then we can jump right back into a scheme so the world stage is interesting it's almost like um not a second game within a game uh, but it is interesting that they've got this menu which i haven't actually looked at <laughs> okay so we're just at a desk looking at a i guess a touch screen an evil touch screen that is funny They've done such a good job with, you know, the detailing in this game. Um, and the aesthetic is just on point. Okay, so we'll launch that scheme and we will return to the layer. And I think we need to find a place to build our inner sanctum. It definitely needs to be secluded in a way. So maybe we can do that on this side. At the same time, we are starting to add gold over here, but I don't want to be next to the generators either. I think what we're going to do is actually come down to this level three from up above, and we'll probably need to move some things around. Can we actually go downstairs right here? It's really tight. The entrance to our sanctum should be more impressive than that. Let's see. Looks like we can probably build a stair over here at the end of the hall, and that will take us down. Yes? No? Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Maybe here? Okay, well, I'm going to look for a place to put this stair real quick. All right, so I found a spot right here, and it looks like we can go down to the third floor. Let 
and we will just have to build a little corridor there and then I think we're going to put the inner sanctum in this area so we will a little corridor going this way and then our inner sanctum tab we will just we'll make it as big as we can for now and we will put let's see i kind of want a fun entryway too to our inner sanctum so i will actually i'm going to expand this and we will put a corridor going around the corner. And then the entrance to our inner sanctum will actually be here. And then I think that gives us the opportunity to put a trap at the front door. And what do we want? I think we want a freeze ray. That feels like us. We'll put a freeze ray there, right outside our inner sanctum door. Perfect. Okay, so we need to build our impressive desk. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks kind of small. I don't know, not that impressive, but we'll put it there. We've got laser door. We will confirm that. And now we'll have an inner sanctum secluded from the rest of our minions down the steps. Uh, I also expanded our security area. I'm going to give our security cameras a little bit uh, more room and room to expand and put more tables. Let us interrogate these prisoners. And I think what I want to do at some point is actually see one of these traps in action. I I think I heard that it got triggered uh, a little while ago, but I wasn't here to see it. I was on another level. So we will, the next time investigators show up, we will tag them for capture and we'll keep an eye on them. Oh, cool. There's our henchmen. That's cool. I think, I think we chose right. That's awesome. Okay, rerouting power is one of the abilities. Take reduced damage for a short time and rapidly heal. That's awesome. Security network. When activated, iris functions as a security camera. Perfect. That's very cool. That's very cool. I wonder, there were other henchmen on that list, and I'm wondering if... Eventually, we can recruit more than one. That would be great if we could. Um, and it looks like her vitality, smarts, morale is all quite a bit higher than our average muscle. That's great. Again, they did just a really good job uh, in the detailing of, you know, their characters. We've got this robotic, uh, personal assistant looks like um, kind of an old school flight attendant, actually. Really on point, Just so on point with the art design for this game. Something I am noticing is that we are reaching our maximum threshold for our vault, and so I'm actually going to take the opportunity now to increase our vault storage. Because if we have no place to put our gold, then it's just going to waste. So I'm going to fill this space with vaults, and then this may actually free up space on the fourth level to do other things that we need to do. And I don't know about you, but I like to build in uniform, and so if it doesn't fit the grid then it doesn't go in and i know a little bit of space is left when we build like that but i don't know it's just more comfortable when you look at something and you can see see it in a grid it just looks nice so 
This looks like a nice vault area. We'll confirm that, and this will probably utilize most of our money because these are kind of expensive, but definitely worth it. All right, I'm going to jump back into our research and see what we're doing. Brainwashing technology is going well, and hopefully we are helping out with that. The world stage looks good. The heat is down in most areas. Yeah, I think we're doing well. Oh, we are here, but we're not. Our morale has dropped. Restore stats at an impressive desk. Okay, so we now that we have an inner sanctum, we actually need to restore our stats. Let's see how that's going. Okay, I think we'll just wait over here. They are on their way to creating the inner sanctum. I'll take the opportunity then, while things are being built, to sell these pallets that we're no longer using and continue to probably give this space to our security team. It feels like this is the only way in for our investigators uh, to come through. And so having the security desk right here just makes a lot of sense. Okay. Oh no, we're not able to pay our minions. That's awful. That is awful. Okay, morale is just plummeting now. That's that's my bad. It's my bad. We should probably do something about that. We might have to cancel the order on some of these racks. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to cancel some of these so that we can pay our minions. I wonder what each of these minions make. I wonder if it'll tell us in our minion management. Minimum wage, maybe? I'm not exactly sure when they instituted minimum wage. And I don't even know what it is right now, actually. Yeah, it looks like here, individual cost per day. So yeah, we can track all of this stuff. Minion manager. And then we had another window, our stats window, where we can actually see how much money we're spending on all these things. Salaries. So salaries are pretty high. 126 in the last seven days. Okay. Oh, interesting. Recent purchases. In our rogue gallery, we've got a new drop down for our personal computer. Iris remains your personal digital assistant, keeping you organized but carrying out orders for mayhem across the globe. Iris 2.0 also comes with new features like Murder 2.3, Torture 3.5, and Abduction 5. Now with photos and notifications to your feed. That's funny. <laughs> oh no, we've got people turning against me. That's not good. What can we do with that? Well, they don't, they haven't been paid, and so I can't blame them, but we can't just... Oh no! The traps are being triggered on our own minions. That's awful. Well, we should probably put them in the holding cell so they can cool off. I don't really want to terminate them. <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a fight happening out here on the balcony. In the meantime, we are waiting for our impressive desk. And it doesn't look like we have enough money. 15,000. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Let's check our objectives and see if we've got money. Complete 10 schemes. Train technician. Okay. We'll jump to the global stage and see if we can transition. 
No, it looks like all of our schemes are generating us income, except for this one. Let's cancel this one, and then let's start one that will actually generate us some money. Nice. So we're starting some new schemes, and I think we should be able to expand our reach into other areas so that we can start scheming in all these regions. I've had an idea, a brilliant idea. Naturally, boss, any idea of yours would be brilliant. Imagine if everyone knew what you were thinking. You would make sure to think better thoughts, wouldn't you? Huh? The very best, most loyal thoughts. A machine to upload thoughts and collect them into one giant blob. I'll call it void. Interesting. Okay, so we've got optional objective side stories, minion recruitment, matter of life and death, no news like fake news. So it looks like we've got options now. Um, the man with the silver gun, what's this? In order for your plans to proceed, you must steal Eli Barracuda Jr.'s legendary revolver. Interesting. High on the hog. If anyone will have information on Flying Pigs, it's Patriots National News Archive. There's a lot of interesting things here. Let's see. This one is a fresh approach. is required. If there's any number of promising candidates out there, bring one back. So this is going to give us a new minion type mercenary. Let's do that. We need to have a conversation about that last agent. We got him, boss. Got him good. Larry shot him. So did <laughs> Radhika and Otis. And then we all punched him a bit. You also got a large number of holes in my wall. Who trained you? Trained? You mean like learn? Like what a teacher would do? We ain't no nerds, boss. Ah, I see the problem. We need a weapons expert. Okay. So we need to probably kidnap a weapons expert. What do we have here? Okay, the philanthropist. Whipper snappers. Find some younger investigators who lend void project. And I built this in my garage, West Coast Charm. Okay, so this is for our void brain control project. What about our, uh, here we go, mercenaries. Okay, usually you pay them. This guard is willing to sell his skills to the highest bidder on a temporary basis. Yep, let's do that. And that should help with our security, which is what we're looking for. We've got these new regions that we can start scheming in. Our new prisoner is a mercenary. So we will interrogate the mercenary. And I'm guessing, just like all of the other specialists, we interrogated we're going to need to expand our training facility and so we will do that as well oh wow so we've got lots of new decor plants we've got nine new types of plants cactus palm tree fern orchid okay that's funny and what's this? A pitcher plant. Nice. We might just plant these exclusively. These look nefarious in and of themselves. So yes, we need to expand our training facility so that we can include our mercenary training. And we're just gonna give all of this space to our training facility. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand this real quick. We've got our minions rearranging our training facility now. We've added something interesting. The mercenary trainer is actually, it looks like a shooting range. And those take up quite a bit of space. 
But I've added four of them because I feel like the more muscle we have, the better. So I will actually add another muscle trainer as well, just so that we've always got people cycling through our system here. So we'll go into our minion management. We will go to our mercenary. We will add a dozen mercenaries to the roster. Oh yeah, these guys look impressive. So our objectives here, construct mercenary trainer, train mercenary, build five gold pallets in the vault, design a device at Zalika's desk, gain investors on the world stage. Okay, so we know what we need to do. We need to jump down into our inner sanctum. We'll have Zalika sit in the chair. <laughs> and it says, design a device at Zalika's desk. Okay, well, her morale is going back up, which is good. But let's see, what else was there to build in the inner sanctum? Conference table. Oh, this is much bigger. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's put that there. And was there anything else? Decor, console, plant pod, large screen. I feel like we should probably surround ourselves with some of these things. Okay. A new minion is now available for training. Okay, so we've got our mercenary. And with the mercenary comes a new item called dinner table. So uh, I guess these mercenaries need to eat. You kill people for money, don't you? Mostly. Sometimes I do it for fun. That works for me. And so do you. Perfect. Let's see. Let's do... This one is science-based. We should probably do this one. So the new minion type is going to be biologist. And we will get a sushi bar. <laughs> a centrifuge. Organic samples. Yeah, we need to do that. Boss, we need to talk. Must we? Every time you open your mouth, I get a headache. We're brushing up against the limits of our capabilities. It's time to explore new branches of science. Here it comes. Stabbing pains right here on my temples. Do what you must. We can kidnap anyone who can teach us what you need to know. Okay. Well, we'll jump to the world stage real quick and see if we can't find someone to kidnap. We've got a lot of prompts. We've got a lot of heat in these areas too, though. All right. And I guess we have to click on our desk. Design the device. So now we're going to be designing the void device from the comfort of our desk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We've captured a biologist. We will escort them to the happy fun time chair and Again, we will probably need to start preparing to train biologists. We'll go, oh, the brainwasher is done too. Okay, so we do not have enough room currently in our prison area. So we might need to actually expand our prison area and push our lunchroom over into the old generator area. I think I'm going to do that real quick. Hold on. So I'm building the new mess hall. And as I'm building the new mess hall, secret agents start walking through my construction. <laughs> now they're wandering into the security room. What in the world? These guards are just standing here. What is up with my security? Well, this is a new type of agent. 
So this is a rogue. Okay, so they probably have good reason for sneaking past my guards, but <laughs> I was right in the middle of building tables for people to eat at, and <laughs> these rogues just wandered, wandered through my construction. All right, well, I'm going to get back to this. We've got the rogues in the prison cells. We've got our minions expanding the prison. I would like to build one of these brainwashing machines and actually put the rogue in the brainwashing machine and see what happens. However, we're going to need more power, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to run down to our power generation area and see if we can't squeeze some more power in here somewhere. We were able to squeeze in four or five new generators into this space. Had to reclaim this little corner because that is just not doing anything for us. So we'll jump back up, run back over to our expanded prison facility, and let's drop in an interrogation chair right there. We will have to recapture these folks because the power went out. Power just is always going to be an issue, isn't it? Well, the power's back on. We will soon have our brainwasher 2000 and we will see what happens. That's pricey. 50,000 and it takes 20 power. My goodness. Huh. I'm back in the research menu. And it looks like we can research advanced mining technique, which is going to actually let us go lower in our base. And so as soon as we are able, I am going to have them do that. Okay, so we've got biologists that we can train up. Got a biology trainer here. We'll just tuck a few of these into the corner. And what's this? A trophy cabinet. Slows morale drain. I like that. Yeah, we can put some trophy cabinets up in the training area. And maybe we can line our hallways with them as well. But we will confirm that and we will get some biologists trained up so that we can expand our mining capabilities. We can dive deeper into our Evil Mountain base and that will give us more space to actually put generators. Come to think of it, I added a generator in the space I had set aside for the stair. However, with additional mining opportunities, we should be able to reclaim that space for the stair and expand out into here. And so this is going to be good for us in a lot of different ways. It's interesting, the medical bay doesn't get a lot of attention. I've only ever had one or two of these pods in here, and I don't know that I've seen many people use them. I guess it only happens when they get into altercations with agents, but um, oh, look at these guys trying to sneak out. What is that? Oh, they've got in intel. Um, This might need to be something we handle, or Iris. Let's have Iris do it. We'll have Iris meet them down here and see what happens. But I think this is a good time to wrap this episode up. Thank you again for spending some time with me. Remember to tickle those like and subscribe buttons. And as always, with every new subscription, a can of cram will be donated to a local fallout shelter. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.